Hi guys. So over on my swap page, I'm hosting a swap. Um, basically, we have to alter a homeware item into a home decor piece. So this is something I just had here. Um, it was never used. It was something that was given to us and we just kind of kept it as a decoration. Really, We never filled it with oil. So it's like a bottle with a little kind of pour top on it. And I'm going to alter it and make maybe like a glitter pour or something. I'm not, I haven't decided what I'm going to put inside yet. But first step is gesso. So here's how my oil um, jar looks like now that I've gessoed it. Um, I just painted the gesso on with a paintbrush. And next I'm going to apply some texture to the background by using one of my favourite um, stencils. You can just see it there. It's the Tim Holtz Bubble. And then there's some texture paste, so I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I kind of changed my mind in which order I wanted to make my bottle. And what I did actually for this step was I just ripped up some of this tissue paper, which is this one here. It's by Paper Mania. It's an old one again, just in my stash. But it was this kind of script with like ink blotches on it. So I ripped that up and I added it to the bottle. I'm just using my matte multi-medium and I just ripped up random bits and stuck them onto it. And I have decided I'm going to go with a like shabby chic kind of beachy theme for this bottle. So I use these two colours here, which are the Artiste acrylic paints I always use from Cards and Scraps. This one is Sea Spray and Sand. And then I used one of my little spongy brushes, just dry. And I sponged on the paint, so we might be able to see if I zoom in. You see that there? I just kind of sponged it on, so you can still see the gesso coming through. Just to give it like that light, kind of beachy feel. There's a bit more. I think you can see that there. And I also did that to the little pour. So you can see that some, it's very light, but you can see some of the colours I sponged onto there. So now what I'm going to do next is get the texture paste and add on some stenciled um, texture. So here's how my bottle is looking now that I've stenciled on some of the paste. What I did was I mixed my modeling paste with some of the sand coloured paint and just made this um, sandy coloured paste and I used that um, Tim Holtz bubble stencil. Um, just in random places around the bottle. So next thing that I'm going to do is add some inky drips kind of inside, I think. Um, I'm just kind of, as I said, playing as I go along and deciding as I go along. So that's how it looks now with the little pasty textured areas. Um, I think this is going to use for the front. And I was thinking my swap person can just fill it up with something. Or I, I might fill it up with glitter or something for her. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is root through my inks and stuff and see what I'm going to add onto it next. And this is my finished altered bottle. So um, I'll just show you what I did for decorations. Up here I just wrapped some shipping um, cord or string around the neck of the bottle. I added this Tim Holtz joyful little coin. And just some paint on there, the matching paint and there as well. Just kind of on random areas to match. Then I did a little cluster of these flowers, which are mixed ones of Prima. I love this big one here. Um, just in the kind of tones that matched um, up with the bottle. And this leaf up here and the little twigs are from a vine. They were left over from a Prima vine. I just love the end of it here. I always keep these kind of things because they do come in handy for other projects. So that's what's up there and then down around here is a little metal piece from Prima. So it's all Prima and this art kind of screwdriver or screw head is from Prima. There's another piece of that vine and there's another little Prima metal there. So that's the look. It's all just, um, just a cluster of flowers and I added some paint and spray to everything just to match them up to the bottle. So that's the full um, bottle. I think it looks cute. Uh, I hope my swap partner, Annalie, I hope she likes it. So that's it, just to show you the cluster again. 
So that's it. So that's a, I think it turned out really cute. I'm really happy with it. Um, it's a lot better than what it looked like um, when we began <laughs> the videos. I didn't really know which way I was going with it, but I'm really happy how it turned out. And as I said, I hope Anna Lee loves it. So I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.